welcome once again to my channel. Today I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time. And finally, here we are. We are going to be unboxing the Ancestry DNA kit. And this is how it looks like. I want to um, share this experience with you all. I'm so very excited. I've been wanting to do this for the longest, longest time. This video is definitely not sponsored. I purchased my kit. So we're gonna do this right now. Oh my God. Ah! I'm gonna start collecting my saliva. <clears throat> so, yes, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. You have to spit. So this line right here, that's a lot of spit. So we're gonna start spitting. I'm sorry if this grows you out, but I have to do this. If you guys care to see my spits in there. Ugh, that's disgusting. So this funnel right here, we take it off and we replace it with this blue little cap right here. And I think that blue fluid's gonna fall in there once we do that. So let's see what happens. Okay, so the blue liquid that was up here is now mixed in with my saliva. The instructions tell us that we need to shake it for five seconds. So we're gonna shake it for five seconds. All right. Okay, that's about five seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna place our saliva in the baggie. And we're gonna fold it. And we're gonna place it in the box, in the shipping box. So, all right. And then um, we're gonna mail it out. So then that way we get our results and we'll see how long it takes. I will be revealing my results um, and I want you guys to stay here with me and let's find out what's in my DNA. Hopefully it doesn't take long and we can find out what makes up Anai. So we're just gonna be patient, we're gonna wait and woo! <sighs> so excited. The results are finally in and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you all. Um, I want you guys to get to know me a lot more and heck, I want to get to know me a lot more. Um, so I'm so excited. I have to be honest and I couldn't wait. So I've already looked at the results, but um, yes, I am very shook. Um, and yes, I'm just going to go ahead and share them with you. Actually, before I do that, let me tell you about the wait. So from the day that they received my DNA sample to the day that my phone alerted me that my DNA results were ready to be viewed, it did take about a month and a week. Um, it is kind of long for me. I just wanted to look at my results as soon as possible. Um, I was very anxious. All right, so without further ado, I want to share my results with you all. Um, to my surprise, I kind of already knew this was coming, like it was very obvious. Obviously, all of my family is from Mexico. We're from northern Mexico. Um, and yes, ex that's exactly what my DNA could tell ya. So I'm going to show you the results right here. Um, and we're going to look at them together, okay? It says that I am 54% indigenous America from Mexico, um, specifically from Chihuahua, Durango, and Zacatecas. So I am from Durango, my family's from Durango. Um, obviously Zacatecas and Chihuahua are like border with Durango, so it makes sense. Okay, the next one is Spain. I'm 30% Española, um, which was kind of like obvious because in a nutshell, if you're Mexican, you gotta have some sort of Spanish in you, right? It was not a shock. However, the percentage was shocking. I thought it might have been like 5% Spanish, but no, I'm 30% Spanish. Next one is Senegal, which is in Africa. Yes, it's up in Africa, right there. I am 4% from Senegal. Next, Cameroon. 
Like never in a million years would I think I was 2%, 3% from Cameroon. From Cameroon, Congo, Southern Bantu peoples. Um, that was a shock. However, I did know I had some some African percentage in my DNA because um, on my dad's side of the family, um, they do have some like African American traits. My sister has a beautiful, beautiful curly hair. She's got a beautiful um, Latina fro, and I've always been so jealous of her hair. Um, shout out to Brenda with the beautiful hair. Um, so yeah, that was not a shock, and she actually inherited that from my dad. My dad when he was younger and he was um, not bald. <laughs> he did have also um, afro. He had a full-blown African hair. So I was not shocked that I have a percentage of African in my DNA, uh, but the percentages were shocking. Um, next, um, Besque, I think that's how you say it. That's also located in Spain. And that's 2%. Um, next, England, Wales, and Northern Europe. That's 2%. Um, that was kind of shocking, too. <laughs> Ireland and Scotland. Un por ciento. So we're about to celebrate St. Patty's. Um, okay, so next, 1% indigenous um, Americas from Central America. So that's kind of like... Not shocking because I am from Mexico. There's obviously going to be some sort of um, DNA from Central, South, and North America. So that was not um, a very big shock. 1% Italian. That explains my love for carbs. I love pasta. So 1% Italian. 1% from Mali. That's also in Africa. 1% um, European Jewish. That was a shock. Um, so yeah, this is what makes up my DNA right here. Like I told you guys at the beginning of the video, people have told me that I look Asian, that I look Indian, that I look, um, Middle Eastern. I'm very proud to be Mexican. I love my Mexican heritage and I'm very, very proud to say that I'm a Latina, that I speak Spanish. Muy orgullosa estoy de ser mexicana. I feel like diversity is what makes us all beautiful. So always be proud of who you are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Use the coupon code down below to order your kit and receive a discount. I will see you on the next video. Bye.